Hello and welcome to TechPlot 360EX. In this video, I will show you how to use several different analysis tools in TechPlot 360 to analyze data on a surface offset from the original surface. In this process, we will calculate variables using the pre-built methods, specify our own equation, and use the strand editor and interpolation from a volume zone. For this demo, we will be looking for the pressure right off of the surface of the blades in this rotor-stator combination. To begin, we'll go into Zone Style to show the blades and hub. We can search for star, blade, star, enter, and this will highlight all of the zones containing the word blade. We can then right-click and show selected only. To show the hub, we want to click on Zone 3 and control click Zone 11, then right-click and activate to show the hub. Next, we want to duplicate the blade zones. This can be done under Data, Create Zone, Duplicate. And we want to duplicate Zone 2 and control click Zone 10. We will have to reassign the time strands because when we duplicated the two zones, they were given the same strand as the original zone so that they would show up with the same style and entry and zone style. In our case, we want to break this relationship, so we'll reassign them by going into Data, Edit Time Strands. We want to scroll down to Zone 16, change our time strand value to 16, and toggle off Assigned Solution Time to ensure this zone is not assigned to Solution Time. And we want to do the same thing for Zone 17. Next, we need to determine the direction we need to offset these zones. Luckily, TechPlot360 has the built-in function which analyzes the normal direction of each cell. This parameter is named GridKNormal. This can be found under Analyze, Calculate Variables. We want to choose Select then scroll down to grid K unit normal. At this point, we will check the direction the normal is calculated on the surface. We can do this by going into plot, vector, variables, then change the variables to the three we just calculated. Now we want to toggle on vector, and rotate and zoom in to the edge of a blade. Notice that the vectors are pointing in between the blades. This is important for the next step. Now we can toggle off vector, then control F to fit surfaces to the frame. Now here's the trick. We'll offset our duplicate zones to the original zones by using data alter in data, alter, specify equations. We already have pre-written equations, so we go into Load Equations, Translate Blades, and notice that these equations are using the current x, y, z coordinates of each point and subtracting a portion of the cell's normal. The z equals 16-17 means that we want these equations to apply only to our duplicate zones, 16 and 17. Now we click Compute. When we rotate and zoom in, notice the offset surface. Now we need to interpolate some variables from the volume zone to the offset surface by going into Data, Interpolate, Inverse Distance. Our source zone is Zone 1, which is our volume zone. We want to interpolate conductivity, density, pressure, and temperature. Our destination zone is zone 16 and interpolate. We want to do the same thing for zone 17. Now that we've interpolated our data, we can change the contour to pressure. So we'll go into contour details, change our first contour variable to pressure. Now we can right click and choose Pressure, as well as turn on Translucency for both of our blade zones. This concludes our video on how to analyze data on a surface offset from the original surface. You can download a free trial on our website, and thank you for watching.